so here we have our question i'll be urging all the 11 standard guys to watch it till like how to manipulate this expression and you can skip the limit part okay so first of all let us look at this question first of all I, what i'll be doing is first of all what i'll be doing is i'll be simplifying this expression over here and then from that we'll be doing the cancellations okay so first of all let us simplify this expression over here so this expression first of all let's take lcm and write this expression as x part 2k x part 2 par k plus 1 by x part 2 par k plus 2 whole divided by x par 2 par k plus 1 by x part 2 par k okay so you would be able to see that here i will, will be able to make a perfect square right so that's what i'll be doing so here what we get is I'll be writing x part 2 par k as x part 2 par k whole square x part 2 par k minus 1 whole square plus 1 by x part 2 par k minus 1 whole square plus 2 whole divided by x part 2 par k plus 1 by x part 2 par k. So this simplifies to this simplifies to I'll be making a perfect square in the numerator. This simplifies to x part 2 par k minus 1 plus 1 by x part 2 par k minus 1 whole square, right? Whole divided by x part 2 par k plus 1 by x part 2 par k, right? So now I'll be doing the cancellations. It is pi k is equal to 0 to n, right? So now I'll be doing the cancellations here. So as you can see, first of all, uh, you would have seen in the first questions that I do cancellations by visualizing the next term. So that is what I'll be doing. So as you can observe, only one power of these terms in the numerator will get cancelled off only one power of these terms in the numerator will get cancelled off so that is what we'll be doing and the whole of denominator will be cancelled out so as you can see the whole of the denominator will be cancelled out by the next terms right so which term doesn't have like a next term that will be the last term only right so in the denominator i'll be only left with x power 2 power n plus 1 by x power 2 power n okay and which term in the numerator will be having an intact power of 2 and which of the terms in the numerator will be having an intact power 2. So in order to tell that, I can see that the numerator gets cancelled by its very previous term. So which term won't be having its very previous term? It will be at k is equal to 0, right? So root x plus 1 by root x whole square would be the only term with a power of 2 in the numerator and all others will be having a power of 1, okay? So what will be the other terms? The other terms will be x plus 1 by x, x square plus 1 by x square, x power 4 plus 1 by x power 4, and this will continue until this will be continuing on till x part 2 part n minus 1 plus 1 by x part 2 part n minus 1 okay so how do we manipulate this expression now we need to get like a smaller expression if we want to apply limit because applying limit in this scenario is almost impossible okay so in order to simplify it what i did was what i did was you should be able to remember this simplification i multiplied and divided by x minus 1 by x you will see what happens now when i multiply divide by x minus 1 by x this term when clubbed with this term forms x square minus 1 by x square then that newly formed term x square minus 1 by x square combines with this term to form x power 4 minus 1 by 1 by x power 4 and this carries on till we reach this term okay so eventually we'll be getting something like x power 2 power n minus 1 by x power 2 power n okay by x power 2 power n plus 1 by x power 2 power n okay i wrote the terms with n now now let me write the other terms so this x minus 1 by x in the denominator what i'm going to do is i'm going to write it as root x minus 1 by root x times root x plus 1 by root x why can i do that i can do this because i have been given that x is greater than 1 so obviously it is positive so one power of x root x plus 1 by root x cancels out so what i'll be having here is root x plus 1 by root x whole divided by root x minus 1 by root x okay so now let me apply the limit so i've been given that the number x is greater than 1 so it will be something greater than 1 power infinity right so in these scenarios you would be knowing that i divide the numerator and denominator by x power 2 power n like the quantity which tends to infinity and it seems to yield a simplification so what we are having here is limit n tending infinity 
वन माइनस वन बाय एक्स पार टू पार एन प्लस टू पार एन टू पार एन प्लस वन बाय वन प्लस वन बाय एक्स पार टू पार एन प्लस वन ओके सो दिस दिस वन बाय एक्स पार टू पार एन प्लस वन इज वन बाय इन्फिनिटी फॉर्म विच इज जीरो सो वॉट आई बी हैविंग हेयर इज वॉट बी हैविंग हेयर इज दिस एक्सप्रेशन ओके सो this since these two terms tend to zero i'll be having this expression tending to 1 by 1 so my final answer would be something like if i simplify these this expression also i'll be having something like x plus 1 by x minus 1 right 